My name is Seth Lloyd. I'm a professor of quantum mechanical engineering here at MIT, and I'm the director of the Keck Center for Extreme Quantum Information Theory. The Research Lab of Electronics is a multidisciplinary, uh, multi-departmental laboratory that takes faculty from all over MIT. RLE is a unique institution, is uh, a great set of colleagues with whom one can have a discussion about anything, and frequently these discussions lead to great research, to applying for grants, to working for years together with different graduate students and postdocs. It can lead to wonderful uh, and, and really fulfilling collaborations and awesome science. RLE has a staff which consists of some of the most talented individuals at MIT who facilitate our research and make our lives much, much easier. So for me, a very important, important part of the research lab of electronics is that it allows us to do what we do. And there are committed professionals who are there that let us do what we need to do. And that makes it a very special place for doing research. The main thrust of my research activity is to investigate how information constructs the universe. Quantum information theory is almost unique amongst fundamental fields of physics in that there is an intimate relationship between theory and experiment. And I myself work both on highly theoretical ideas and on uh, extremely practical and pragmatic experiments. Boston is, of course, a great place to do any kind of academic discipline, particularly science. It's certainly the uh, densest packing of universities and scientists in the United States, and maybe the largest as well. So it's actually quite great, because if you want the world expert on this esoteric subject, by God, they're right down the hall. And while they're not down the hall at MIT, they're across the river at BU or at the other end of the red line at Harvard. So Boston's a great place for doing this kind of work, and it uh, makes life a lot easier. The work of doing science is a collaborative whole, and the best way to do it that I know of is to try to make sure that the organization is such that the good ideas bubble up. And when I say bubble up, the good ideas typically come from the younger people, the students, the graduate students, the potocs, not from me, it's from these other people. And the, the point is to let uh, have the atmosphere be such that these ideas can show up. Yeah, maybe they're going to be wrong, but that's OK. The ideas show up. We contemplate them. But we, what we really need is to have the ideas there, because sooner or later, one of them is going to be right, and we want to be able to identify that. I really prefer not to teach my students if I don't have to. I much prefer it if I can get them to teach me. Now, with graduate students, that's one thing, because frequently I have graduate students who are a lot smarter than I am and know more about the subject, so that's fine. They should be teaching me. But with undergraduates, I think of a class as a way of learning about the world. Now, I know some stuff about the world. My students know some stuff about the world. And by working together, maybe we can construct a new way of understanding the world. So I don't think of teaching as me imparting knowledge to people. I think of it more importantly, selfishly, as them imparting knowledge to me, and actually most importantly, as us constructing new knowledge together. I'd love it if technological advances based on my research were to benefit society. Um, and that may indeed be the case in the sense that we're doing the research that in the future will determine how powerful communication channels can be, how powerful computers can be, and those communication channels and computers may well in the future be based on our current research. And the way that it already is benefiting society is that I think that society is greatly benefited from obtaining new and more correct and better understandings of the way the universe works. And if we can improve that little bit of knowledge by one tiny smidgen, then we're benefiting all of us. <laughs>